Hello friends, I'm Varun Vora and welcome to my channel IT with Varun Vora to master the fundamentals. Friends, as we move forward in our ITGC journey, as a part of which I've already covered over 100 videos related to various control areas across application, server and database layers with a new video every week on my channel. As I say in all my videos, this knowledge is not available in any book or over the web. So please try to understand these concepts thoroughly as they will definitely help you in your career and education. In continuation of our information security ITGC category under which we have covered patch management testing across server and database layer and also discuss the next steps once you identify a finding in patch management testing. Today we will learn the mitigating or compensating controls related to patch management testing. So let us first understand the term mitigating or compensating controls which simply means to have other controls which can mitigate or reduce the risk. So as you always hear me say it's all about risk. Coming to the mitigating controls friends always remember that everything is risk driven. So we have to go back to the basics and assess what is the risk due to the deficiencies in patch management testing as that will help in identifying what are the mitigating or compensating controls. When you talk about deficiencies in patch management testing, broadly there are two types of findings we have in patch management. I have listed them on the left hand side of the board here. 